Hi, I'm Dr. Russ Kennedy, The Anxiety MD, and this is my series on worry, and this is number four. So if you haven't seen the previous three, it might help to go back and check them out. In this video, I'm going to talk about why we create these worries, where the worries come from. And they come from this state of alarm that's in our body that's just uncertain. So to make the uncertain feeling that we have, this fight or flight alarm feeling in our body, we create these worries in our mind. And if we know that that's how the cycle works, we can break the cycle. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Hi, and welcome to The Anxiety MD, a channel I created to give you the best tips and strategies to help you overcome your anxiety. I'm Dr. Russ Kennedy. I am The Anxiety MD because I'm an MD who struggled with anxiety for many, many, many years. And I want to give you the best tips and strategies, like I said, to help you understand what's going on in your mind and body that create your anxiety and give you things you can do about it. In this video, the fourth in the series on worry, I'm going to talk about where the worries come from. And the worries come from our mind, sure, but it's because the mind reads the body. So when we are faced with something that scares us, even if we create it in our minds, we'll create this alarm state in our body, often called the fight or flight state of the autonomic nervous system. And the mind, which is just a compulsive, meaning-making, make-sense machine, reads this alarm in our body, and it makes a consistent story with that alarm. So we will look around and if there's nothing in our environment that is scary or frightening, we will make up a worry to explain this alarm in our body. As an example, so say you're, you've got to make a speech and you're afraid of speaking in, in public. So your body will rev up all this alarm in your system. Your heart rate will go up, your blood pressure will go up, your palms will start to sweat. And that alarm is read by the brain, like, what the is going on? What's going we, we've got a we've got a mounted defense against this. There's something going on that's frightening. So we'll think about the public speech and we'll say, oh, this could happen. I could choke, I could not remember my lines, I could be humiliated in public. Now, what that will do is it will create more worry, which creates more alarm in your system. And the more alarm that gets created in your system, the more worries you start getting in your mind. So really what worries are is a way of explaining this sense of alarm that's in our body. I believe it's the alarm that creates the worries. Now the worries also create the alarm as well, but it's the alarm in our body that really grounds, grounds that worry and gives, us, and gives it that sense of urgency. So it's this feeling of alarm in our body that our mind reads as dangerous. So when our mind reads something as dangerous, it has to come up with a reason for it. It's a meaning-making, make-sense machine. So it makes up all these reasons, worries, of what could go wrong. And then we believe those things because we don't like uncertainty, which creates more alarm in our system, and the whole loop starts. So the idea is to know that when your body is alarmed, that your mind is just gonna give you these worries. And it's much better to cut out the middleman and start addressing the alarm in your body. Deep breathing, put your hand on your chest, feel your feet on the floor. Combat that alarm because that alarm is what's causing the worry. Your mind isn't causing the worry. It's the upset in your body that's really creating a lot of that worry. So if you understand that and you go to the source, which is the alarm in your body, those worries just tend to disappear. So that's the fourth in this series. So if you're new to this, please like, subscribe, comment. I love hearing your comments. And don't believe everything you think. And we'll see you for the last episode, episode five. And thanks for joining me.